Hi, I'm uh, Father Mark Brummel, uh, Claritian Missionary here at the National Shrine of St. Jude's uh, office at the St. Jude League in downtown Chicago. And we have a demonstration here of the uh, activity of the shrine from its very beginnings in 1929 uh, and earlier. There are scenes of the steel mills that were in the location at that time. There is a, a scene of a mass that was uh, said back in 1926 with Father James Tort, the original founder of the shrine and the pastor eventually of Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. Uh, there is a scene of the uh, original chapel that the, the priests were uh, saying Mass in. And the first community at, uh, at Our Lady of Guadalupe and the shrine with Father Tort, uh, the second from the right, uh, Brother James uh, on the right of him, and Brother uh, Father Joseph Pujavi on the far left. Um, uh, and uh, then the other one is uh, Father Andrew Reza, yeah. Uh, um, they had very large crowds that came out for the uh, opening of the Our Lady of Guadalupe Church back in 1928. And uh, the church itself, you can see, is uh, uh, as it is today, uh, with a, a car that looks like it's uh, going back to the 1920s. We have other uh, photos showing the various activities of the Claritians, the shrine itself, on the tort, uh, the statue of St. Jude, some of the early uh, uh, official membership renewals, sorts of things we have, and uh, pictures of the shrine over the years, and the picture of the, the, the relic that we have of first class relic of St. Jude. Uh, <clears throat> we show the Voice of St. Jude uh, uh, magazine that the Claritians first started to publish in the 1930s. Uh, eventually that was uh, renamed the U.S. Catholic magazine in uh, 1963. Uh, Claritians, uh, through Father Tort and other other Claritians served as police chaplains to the same to the uh, Chicago uh, Police Department for many years, from actually for 50 years, from about 1930 to 1980. Uh, we have some uh, examples of our publications over the years: Nuestra Parroquia, Context, uh, of course, U.S. Catholic, At Home with the Faith, and Oye. A, Magazine, an annual magazine that we uh, publish uh, that uh, is for volunteers and for vocation promotion. We show some of the uh, uh, scenes of this of the shrine from its early days back in the probably the 40s there, uh, 36, uh, and some of the people who were. Uh, benefactors of the Claritians at various events, various banquets and the like, including uh, Regis Feldman, Joey Bishop, and Danny Thomas. St. Jude Seminary was a uh, minor seminary the Claritians uh, conducted from 1933 to 1970. Um, the uh, shrine had the various uh, uh, there is a shrine. That's a shrine with the uh, policemen who were uh, uh, connected to Father Tort. Uh, we had outdoor processions uh, in honor of Saint Jude in those early years, and uh, again, the police were very much involved in uh, the activities. Uh, Father Farrell was one of the uh, early chaplains. The uh, annual march of the police takes place in downtown Chicago at one time on, uh, on Roosevelt Road. Uh, uh, later it went to uh, Holy Name Cathedral and now its uh, annual march is held at Soldier Field uh, just south of the Loop.
We have some pictures of activities held at the at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Church and the Shrine. Uh, the dancers uh, at the various functions and the parishioners uh, in, in, in the uh, at the uh, novena services. And we have a picture of the shrine itself uh, in uh, in Our Lady of Guadalupe Church as a side altar and uh, still very popular today after so many years. A couple of uh, activities that Clarice has been involved in in that neighborhood is our, uh, the Chicago Family Health Center, which originally was the Claritian Medical Center and uh, is thriving today. And we are also involved in housing, including a senior housing uh, uh, across from Our Lady of Guadalupe, the, uh, called the uh, Via Guadalupe. I'm Kathy Horning. I run the St. Jude League for the Claritians in the U.S. province. Um, that means a lot of different things. We uh, have Claritian publications as one of our big departments, both English and then a really strong growing bilingual Hispanic ministry. We also have the St. Jude Devotion, which the Claritians in the U.S. started in the 1920s, so almost 100 years. Um, and there's about 65 of us on staff. We have a virtual parish of uh, a little over 100,000 people that we reach out to via mail, Facebook, Twitter, email, um, in a pastoral way so that we reach them with things that are very Claritian and hopefully inspiring. We probably don't do as well as if the Claritians were doing it, but we do it all in their name. So it's reference to the word, um, references to prayer, traditions, reinforcing the fact that they're not alone. A lot of these people are physically alone uh, all over the United States. Um, we do have a small phone center where if they call, sometimes they just need somebody to pray with them. We do that. Um, it's wonderful. We're getting, we're starting a second virtual community but for a much younger age range so the demographic for that is 20 to 40 and instead of being devotional to St. Jude it will be based and centered around the Claritian programs in the U.S. as their core which of course is filled with lots of things that are wonderful after school programs violence prevention programs violence intervention programs uh, food alternative housing. So we're really looking forward to this being a couple of new avenues of growth, of new ways that the St. Jude League can spin off support, both personal, spiritual, as well as financial for the Claritians. And as Father Rosendo always reminds me, also in the international community. So not just thinking within the U.S. boundaries. Um, I love it. It's great. My board of directors is the U.S. Provincial Council. It's the best board of directors, the most apolitical one I've ever had. So it's an unusually fortunate challenge to always have things that are very real, that really need uh, solutions, that need uh, care. And I think you find most of our staff here really focuses on the message and the outreach. And we know it's not about us. It's just we're kind of a, a good way to extend the reach of the Claritians to some of the less geographically centered populations in the country, but they still add up to be a very large, like I said earlier, kind of a, a virtual parish. Um, it's, it, it's all good. I know that sounds cliche, but it's all good.